this one actually smells really good. Somebody got in my car one time, they was like, ooh, it smells good in here. I'm like, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's cause I had this on, I know it smells good. My name is Ross Gardner, and these are my 10 essentials. You did, superstar James, baby. <laughs> All right, first one of my essentials is my pocket items. Phone, wallet, keys. I keep them on me at all times. Every time I leave the house, every time I leave somewhere, I'm going somewhere, I always tap my pockets. Phone, wallet, keys, phone, wallet, keys. This the phone, though. I'm capturing my audio off it right now, though, but I got me a little Falcons in here. Feel me, that's my favorite team. Atlanta Falcons, even though we not that good right now, but you know. <laughs> I got my flash drive. This is where I keep Superstar Dreams all the time. Got the flash drive, got my house key, got the YMCA membership. This is also, this should be an essential in itself because the gym is an essential, you feel me? I'm in the gym every day. Rain, sleet, hail, snow, sunshine, stormy days. I'm in that gym, pumping that iron. I honestly, I hate these devices, I hate phones. I just wish we could go back to the days where it was just like, you know, we just all got flip phones. Once I get like famous enough and stuff to where I don't need this to, you know, post and do stuff on social media, I'm just have a flip phone. Like they're supposed to connect us, but it's the main thing that disconnect us. You see us all the time, like we just always looking at our phone, typing on our phone, being on our phone. It's like, enjoy the life around you. Enjoy the, just enjoy the scenery. Enjoy, you know, you feel me, what's present. Oh, and I forgot to say my pods. My pods is also one of my pocket items, also an essential. I like the Beats pods better because, you know, they just have more bass to it. They got more doom, doom. You hear them 808s like doom. I can't go nowhere without my Beats pods. You know, I always gotta be listening to music, finding new music. Right now, I've been listening to a lot of like 80s, 80s music. Uh, either 80s music or like that reggaeton. Next one of these essentials is another pocket item, but it just deserves to be in a class by itself. So. The Carmex. Gotta have the Carmex on you. And low key, I just, I literally, as I was setting all this up, I literally just lost my Carmex. Like, it was just in my pocket. I was gonna pull it out of my pocket and show y'all, but I don't know where it went. But that's why you keep the three pack on you. You keep the three pack of Carmex because you always bound to lose one of these. Always. So you keep like one in your pocket, you keep one in your car. In case you lose the one in your pocket, you got the one in your car, and then you keep one in like your room. I just always keep one of these on me because somebody always asks for Carmex too, bro. People be walking around here with dry lips. Like, how you gonna be walking around here with dry lips, no Carmex on you? So you gotta keep these on you at all times. So I'm just open one of these up and use them. Keep them in my pocket right now. Cause I just lost it. It's crazy. There's two feelings in the world that I hate the most. I hate when I'm ashy, and I hate when my lips is dry. I hate when I'm just like, licking my lips and just like, ah, uh, mm -mm. I hate that. So I keep the Carmex on me. I keep like, you know, spare. <laughs> Next essential item is your gum and your floss. Gotta keep it on you. This the gum pack I'm on right now, it's already open. I just bought these two for the sole purpose of this video. And I just bought this. Usually I don't even use this type of gum, but like my mom said she bought the wrong kind and she just gave it to me. So I was like, hey, you know, can't go wrong with no gum, but these are cool because they got the floss thing on one side and it tastes like mint too. Got the floss thing on one side and then you got like the toothpick thing on the other side. You roll it out like this and then you just like toothpick that mug. These two is an undefeated combination because when you want to go, you got to keep your teeth right. You got to keep them looking fresh, uh, smelling fresh, uh, keep them looking pretty. Gum, floss, get it. For this next essential, you got the fragrances. I like to call these my love potions. Yeah. These is just some simple, like, just some simple body oils. Like, if you don't have no types of fragrances, you don't have no types of cologne, no types of smell, these is some good smelling stuff, but it's for cheap too. I'm about to put y'all on right now. Stop using Axe Body Spray, stop using these. Stop, bro. Stop using Old Spice. Stop it. You can go to your local beauty supply. You feel me? These is like a dollar, a dollar ninety nine. You get like three of these you like. Dollar ninety nine times three. What's that? Two times three. Six dollars. Six dollars for three fragrances, and these last like a month. These last like a month. Six dollars a month on your smell. Like, you feel me? And these smell actually really good. This one actually smells really good. Somebody got in my car one time, they was like, ooh, it smells good in here. I'm like, I know, 
I know, I know, I know. It's because I had this on. I know it smells good. And then this is probably my favorite one. You see, I bought three of these. Favorite color already red. So these definitely my love potions. These my these my love potions for real. My next essential is my headwear. So if you see me around, I'm always in some some type of headwear. You feel me? I I got my hat collection, my bandana collection, and this this ain't even a do rag. I don't even say like collection for real, but like I just have multiple do rags. Like I used to have waves, so I bought most of these when I had waves, but now I have braids and stuff, so I still gotta keep a do rag on me at all times. This probably my favorite hat. It didn't used to be because it's like the most ugly one, but not like it's not even an ugly hat for real. It's just like it's not as pretty as the rest of them. So I used to I just wear this like you know when I'm doing some work when I'm working out or like just something cool like that. And then, I don't know, it just ended up being my favorite hat after a while because I just wore it the most. This the hat where I rep Indy for real. This the, uh, this our baseball team, feel me? Be rocking the hats, turn them, turn them where I'm like this, where I'm to the side. Either way, I look swaggy regardless. Like, <laughs> I'm him, <laughs> feel me? Any other hats I wanna show you? Yeah, I stole this one, stole this one from Navy Pier. Feel me? Kept the tag on it, definitely. I'm not condoning stealing, but you feel me? These corporations be stealing from us anyway, though. So like, what are we talking about? I'm trying to get my visor game up. I stole this one from my dad. Dang, I'm just a thief. I stole this one from my dad, though. Like, I'm trying to get my visor game up, so when I have my hair out, you feel me? I can rock a visor. My bandanas. Um, I usually don't even wear the red ones anymore, cause people. I don't know. I'm not gang related. I just like bandanas. I wear this one a lot, the black one and the gray one. And then my do rags. I mainly got most of these when I was uh, still waving. My waves was <laughs> my waves were so buttery, bro. I was spinning. 360 Rossi. But yeah, I got a couple black ones. You can never go wrong with a with multiple black do rags and multiple red do rags. You feel me? Those are like the most basic generic do rags you can get. You need a couple do rags that you can work out in that can get sweaty, that can get dirty. You need some that's just like smooth, silky, that you don't even do nothing in, you just wear them out. And then you need one that you can like go to sleep in. I also got this do-rag, this do-rag's really nice. I wear this out sometimes. People are like, is that a Louis Vuitton do-rag? No, it's not. Next essential is another collection of mine, and that's my glasses collection. I don't know when I really started collecting glasses for real, it's just, I don't know, they just make me feel swaggy. When I put the glasses on, it's not even me anymore. I turn into RG. It's RG is the swaggy persona, it's that. Chain on, glasses on, you can't tell me shit. But, you feel me, I'm Ross right now, just Ross Gardner. These used to be my favorite glasses. These are the first pair I ever got, but these, these are a little bit crooked now. These are actually very crooked now, at least on my face. They feel very crooked. These, these are just the cool ones, the casual ones I wear, you feel me? Just some plastic glasses. Wear these sometimes, ride in the car. Somehow I always find a way to lose my favorite pair of glasses. So right now, these are my favorite pair of glasses. I wore these during the shoot for um, my magazine cover. I don't even know if it's out yet. I don't know when all these videos is coming out, but. I wore these from a magazine cover, but these like my futuristic glasses. I call these my Neo glasses. These just make me feel like the one, like Mr. Anderson. <laughs> these the all time Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame shades right here. These the, uh, these the ones, these the ones for real. I wore these at my prom where I was easily the best dressed person at prom. And that's just me being modest. I mean, they got the little gold on the sides. And then they got like the little, the little print. I don't know, leopard print? I don't know, it's some type of print. And then it's just like gold around, like walking in there feeling like the man. But I always feel like the man with these glasses on. Any pair of glasses I got on, I just feel like the man. When I get money one day, bro, I'm not gonna spend it on cars. I'm not gonna spend it on jewelry. I'm not gonna spend it on that. I feel like the purchase I'm gonna be spending stupid amounts of money on is glasses for no reason. Glasses I might not even wear. I just find them and they look good. That's gonna be my thing. This Next essential item I got, camera bag. This is probably the greatest investment I have ever made. I just used to love taking pictures anyway. Back in high school, my homie had a camera 
And you feel me? We just used to go out, take pictures. I used to love taking pictures. And so I'm like, let me just start, let me just get a camera. So I had started, you know, with this camera. I took a photography class. I had to buy this camera for my photography class anyway. But I was eventually gonna end up buying a camera regardless. When it come down to start, like when I first started making my promotional videos for this tape, I would see all these other artists like when the when they started like when they had a tape or an album they wanted to promote, they was in magazine covers, they was in interviews, they was in you feel me, videos like these, the GQ Ten Essentials, they was in, you know, just fun little videos. And I'm like, hold up. I can do this too. I got a camera. I can start recording myself and make my own videos. I can edit videos. And so I just started doing that on this on this genre right here. Yeah, bro. So started all this. I got an additional lens for this camera, you know, for like far away shots. Got one of these. Got a camcorder. Just open one of these up. Open it. Click the button right here. Now you record. And there I am right there. <laughs> so you got one of those. I just got this for my birthday and I've always, I wanted a digital camera because I hate using my phone camera. So I wanna like, I wanna be able to put one of these in my pocket and just like pull it out when I wanna take a picture and just like take a picture, take a picture, take a picture. And so yeah, it's just smooth. I just keep my camera battery charger in here, keep an SD card and then I keep you know, the case for the mic that I'm recording the audio off of. Keep that in there too. So, that's my camera bag. The next essential that I have is my backpack. Keep my backpack on me at all times. Cause you never know what you might need. Like women have purses and stuff. I have a backpack. I keep my MacBook in it. This is like a million dollars worth of ideas on this MacBook. Million dollars worth of music, billions of dollars worth all this, billions of dollars worth of ideas. Right here on this Mac. Keep it water, you feel me? You might get thirsty. I keep my card reader for my SD cards when I have pictures and videos I wanna export. Keep my mic on me. I recorded Superstar Dreams off of a USB mic. People say you need all this studio stuff, all this. Bro, you need a mic, a good enough mic, and know how to mix and master. Recorded Superstar Dreams on this right here. I always keep a good book on me. I just finished The 48 Laws of Power and now I'm reading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill was a journalist back in the, in the 1900s and he just had a task to interview 500 millionaires at the time and discover if there was like a secret formula to becoming rich or like a secret formula, like a secret mindset to becoming rich and having a rich mindset. And so it just talks about the mindset that rich people have and like how to manifest wealth with your mind and like how to, how it starts with your mindset. So I've been reading this. And then next, my headphones. Gotta keep my headphones in my backpack, beats, you feel me? You get that bass, bro. You get that doom, 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 doom. And then I got like chargers and stuff in there for all that too, so. That's what I keep in my backpack. And also, I keep my journal in my backpack, but that is my next essential. With that being said, my next essential are my journals. These journals changed my life. Over COVID, it was just, you know, I was going through a lot, you know, feel me? We just had a lot of time on our hands and I just started writing my feelings down and then those feelings turned into writing poems and then those poems turned into songs and then those songs, you feel me? turned into me learning how to produce, learning how to make my own beats, learning how to mix, learning how to master, learning how to sample, learning how to, just learning. And it all just started actually with this notebook right here. This is the first journal. The one thing I love about these journals is that when you go back and read them, you can just damn near cry. Cause it's like, damn, I used to be in this place. Or it's like, damn, I used to be, I used to think like this, or I used to think like this. That translates to me now, I need that right now. And so it's kind of like, these journals are kind of like, you know, you just uplifting yourself and you helping yourself. When you go back and read them, you know, it's motivation to yourself. And sometimes I write things, you know, I write things right now, but it won't make sense until the future. Or sometimes I'll write things right now and I'll, and I'll need them for when I'm in the future, I'll go back and read them. Oh, I was a bar. <laughs> I'll be in the future and I'll go back and read them and it'll really be like, it'll really help me for where I'm at right now. 
My final essential is my smile. They're looking at it. Life is just so much better when you just smile through it, you know? A lot of the times we think that, we think that the present moment is just like, it's gonna last forever, you know? We think that these hard times are gonna last forever. We think that, you know, just like, we just put so much stress and so much pressure on ourselves that if we just smile through it, like, everything is gonna be okay. Everything is always gonna turn out the way it's supposed to and the way it should. And most of the time, it's gonna turn out in your benefit. So just smile through it. Just be, be thankful for it. Be thankful for everything that happens to you. And I feel like the people that can smile the biggest is people that's been through the most. You know, that's been through it and, you know, they have a testimony that they can share. And when you overcome, that's where that confidence comes from. Man. This is a confidence smile. But yeah, I'm Ross Gardner and those are my 10 essentials. And it ended up turning into like 15 essentials because I had like everything with me. I had stuff in bags and stuff and like group of stuff together. But my name is Ross Gardner and these is my 10 essentials. You dig? We out.